All right, welcome to game 10. Welcome, 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 welcome. This should be a good game. Got Bobby C and Rick against Ken and Jerry. I'll reintroduce that when I get to it here. On the right-hand side, we've got Dan sitting out this game. So Lexi's over there playing with me. On the right-hand side, Ken will start, and he will be facing Rick on the right-hand side. Oh, oh, must be already done over there. And on the left-hand side, we got uh, Bobby C. And Jerry is out of the picture. We're going to see how sweaty Jerry is. Lots of room, Rick. Nice job, Rick. So, <laughs> Jerry has almost completely changed the color of his shirt with that sweat. <laughs> so, we're not doing too bad with... Uh, we actually got... Five wins out of four. So we got a we got a pretty good chance here. We're looking at uh, Rick and Bobby C in this game. We're, what we're trying to do is trying to go. Six and four. And then Bobby C and myself are in game 12, so that could be seven and four. Uh, actually, seven and seven and five, maybe eight and eight and four, because Rick and Dan are on the uh, on game 11. So <clears throat> we'll see what Rick and Dan do on that. So Bobby C gets three on that one. Uh-oh, Rick's struggling. Where was he last game? Was he uh, was he up top or was he down below? Because that'll matter. So that's on, but he is backwards. Did not mess it up, though. Oh, one. I thought, swear to God, I thought that was on. Six, four. Keep the lead, boys. See, this bar is actually in a neighborhood. It's in a subdivision. It's actually a pretty nice place to pitch. I just wish the uh, people would stay inside. It's so hot, go inside. It's air conditioned inside. That way we don't have them uh, yapping their jaws all day, sitting on that deck. Because that's all you hear is them yapping. It's like they're as loud as Rick is. I think Jerry's going to get three on that one. Shot. <laughs> 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 All right, let's cover that. He's got one on. 
Let's see you. I, I would think if it's on, they would have already known it by now. Three they get. New leaders. <laughs> Just outside. <laughs> He's rebunching up his uh, leg there. Tommy Endler used to uh, put electrical tape over his. There he goes. Uh, Bob's looking at those people like, shut up! You're so annoying. It's like they're they're literally like two feet away from each other and they're screaming at each other. Whoa, market. <laughs> Three they go. I always tell them they're uh, their pit covers for their keep the rain out of them would be more effective if they didn't have those extra boards up high. But I can see where the extra board on the on the uh, parking lot side would matter. Don't want to damage a car because they park right up near there, but. Maybe just put up a fence or even uh, bushes would be nice. There we go. All right, four, ten, ten. <clears throat> no leader. So that's pretty awesome. Got uh, all caught up. That should give Rick a little more comfort. Oh, what are you doing, Rick? All right, reset. Get this one on. This has got to be on. No. <clears throat> we played this weekend, Rick and I, at the campground. And boy, did we have a awesome game it's like a 25 minute game and we just played the 21 and we were popping ringers getting a couple four deads we were, we were shooting really good against each other and I don't think I think out of that whole 20 minutes 25 minutes there was like one open pit We were, we were throwing ringers the whole time. <clears throat> yeah, Bobby C. Caught us, caught us up, and what did you do, Rick? <laughs> At least it was. At least he didn't throw a quicksilver. Like, yeah, he's, he's throwing downhill now, so... Seems like he's got a lot more power than normal. Well, that hot skipped and jumped on. That's 
That's a beauty. Oh, he got denied. That was right there. Perfect shoe. Joys of throwing second. And that lets Rick, lets Rick go first, so... Where is Bob, what is Bobby doing? That's where he's putting his beer way out there. <laughs> hmm. Rick's struggling. <clears throat> if Rick was on, this game probably would have been over by now. That, that is a point. And it, and it went on her. 18. Hmm. On and off. That looked like it actually went on. <clears throat> well, match nine, Lexi and I won, so. I think that's the game Lexi did uh, most of the work. <laughs> All right, Bobby C, get in there. Definitely. Well, you basically threw a sixer before. You threw one on, and then uh, he hit his shoe. That's a good one. Very close. All right, Rick. You going first? Capitalize on uh, Bobby C's. Uh... Rick's Rick's not throwing his normal shoe. He's he's got to stay in front of the front of the stake. That's better. <laughs> so all Ken needs is just just needs a ringer. Just needs a ringer. He's got one more shoe equals one more ringer. No, and there one. <clears throat> so put it back in Bobby C's hands.
Looking for a big miss from Jerry. Please. I don't ask for much. I won't ask for anything for Christmas. <laughs> Wow, Santa hates me. <laughs> so that is a, that's one heck of a long point. Come on, buddy. Get it. Get it done. He didn't get it done. And that'll move our matches to five and five. Bob's not happy. Still don't know why his beer's all the way out in the middle of God knows war. Anyways. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in game 11 and 12. Yep, yep, it does. Alright, sorry about his rude, rude, crude language. <laughs> oh, this guy's handsome. Talk to you later.